Southwest Florida. Welcome back to Lee Pitt Live on Fox 4. Hey, man, what's your name? Give you a big shout out, baller. Curtis Summers? Curtis Summer? Big shout out to Curtis Summer. Did a little camera work for us. Got on that Denver Nuggets shirt. We won't hold it against you, bro. 2018 finals. Uh, we're here at Clemente Park. The parents are out. The children are out. The community is out having a great time. Boy, I tell you, it's the holiday season, and uh, we're kicking it off here. Going to have a big tree lighting ceremony later on tonight. We got here earlier in the day. Lee Pitts Live is covering it from end to end right here in the heart of the Dunbar community, the largest African-American community in Southwest Florida in the city of Fort Myers, if you're looking at us around the country. We have a parent who has come out. Lee Pitts Live, of course, is a media sponsor, and she is AKA <laughs> all the way. Let's get your full name. Good afternoon, my name is Cherie Williams. Okay, Cherie. Now you're a member of Apple Kappa Apple Sorority, but you, me and you just hooked up on the fact that I got a chance to interview your son when he was with, um, with Step Daddies, right? With Step Daddies, yes, sir. Tell people how you got surprised and how he's grown now. Well, you were on video, you were looking on, I was, found I, the video. He's I about eight found, years old. I found the video actually on YouTube. Okay. And at the time, my oldest son was eight years old, and he was being interviewed by Mr. Lee Pitts after a performance that he had given. And I said, wow, I realized <laughs> how much he had grown up, how much he had changed. But there are some things that still stay the same because he is still a stepdaddy. Okay. And now I have my youngest son being a stepdaddy as well. Shout out to stepdaddies that's over there at Mount Olive AME and the children are growing up who go through that program. Now, when I interviewed them, they told me they were in stepdaddy. People remember that interview, and you can just Google stepdaddy on Leap Fit Live and you'll see the little boy. Mount were, Olive stepdaddy. Right, Mount Olive. Did I say Mount Olive? Mount Olive, yes, sir, right. stepdaddy. Now, when I talked to them, they were dressed so sharp, and they, they performed that evening, and uh, people were just, just impressed with them. Tell us what, what is Step Daddy's all about, though. Step Daddy's is a step team. Come by and give me some comments now. It's a step team that was actually created by Mr. Karoy Bethe. Okay. And he did it so that the kids would have some positive things to do that could get them out into the community. But it actually started at church, and he decided to organize some young men and start teaching them about the art of step. Now, how did you come up with the name Step Daddy, though? Do you know? Well, That's I don't cool know, thing. but my cousin Karoy is very creative. Uh -huh. So, um, because they are stepping, and I guess one day they'll be future daddies, <laughs> he came up with the name Step Daddy. All right. We ain't gonna come on my show. Next, just hang out right there. Okay, so um, out here today, you, have you been to one of these before, the Holiday in the Park? Actually, I was here, um, it's been some years ago, and I originally was bringing my children out here, but they had other plans, so I decided just to stop by anyway. And next thing and you know, you're on Lee Pitt Live. Just enjoy <laughs> being with Mr. Lee Pitt's Live. <laughs> I'm so thrilled to get you on the show. Now, what do you do for a living? You sing like an educator or something. I'm a teacher. Right, right. I'm a teacher at Lee High Senior High School. Okay, because yes, I don't sir. know if you saw I interviewed some student from Lee Middle just now. Okay. The, um, uh, Ladies of excellence or something they call it. Yes, sir. Right. So, yeah, I can tell the way you're conjugating those verbs. <laughs> uh, Lehigh High School, what's your what's their claim to fame out there? What are they doing now? They, what are they, what are they, what are they, what is, what's the big thing when you think about Lehigh High School? You think about what? Well, first of all, Lehigh has the largest JROTC program in the United States. Okay. okay. Whoa in the United States. And um, they're doing some really good things. They have um, a mentoring group called Beta. Okay. And they mentor young men. They teach them about tying ties. They teach them about um, filling out college applications. It's really a mentoring group for those young men who may not have that support okay. elsewhere, or who may have the support, but just need that extra push. Okay, Lehigh Senior High was shouting you out. Uh, the um, To see what's taking place out here today yes, in this sir. park, 
as we kick off the holiday season here. What, 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 what goes through your mind watching all these children running around having a great time, all the food, the entertainment, Lord, just, just the whole, what have you Praise been taking Lord, in? Yes, sir. It is important for our community and for the city of Fort Myers to see the positive things that happen in the Dunbar area. Because so very often the only thing that gets shown on the news are the negative things that happen in our community. And negative things happen in every community. Right. But it seems that um, whether they are trying to get ratings or it's just the end thing, other communities' negativity is not spotlighted as much as in minority communities. Right. So it's good for us to get out and show that there are positive things going on in our community, that we have educated people in our community, we have entrepreneurs, we have people who are doing great things in the Dunbar area in Fort Myers. And how important is it for the media to shine the spotlight on the positive? We know Lee Pitts Live, that's what we do. But just in general, how important is it to make sure that other people get to see this? Well, it's very important because very often I look on Facebook, which is social media, and they show these negative stories about the Dunbar community. And then other people from other communities start to chime in. And so it not only puts a negative spotlight on the Dunbar community, but it creates a negative, a negative feeling for people around Fort Myers. Right. We have more to offer right. than what they show on the news. Now, did you grow up in this community, born and raised, or you just transplanted? Yes, sir, I did. My grandmother's name was Helen Stebbins. She was an educator here well, during the Stebbins. segregation. The Stebbins, I heard her name. Yes, sir. During segregation, she was a home economics teacher at Dunbar High School. And after they integrated, she became a home economics teacher at um, Cypress Lake High School. My grandfather was also an educator, Mr. Richard Stebbins. Right. And he taught at Lee Middle School. Amazing. And yes, now sir. You, are, you come up to be an educator. Yes, sir. And my cousin is the current principal at Dunbar High School, Mr. Carl Burnside. Carl's K.A. side. We shout me out, Carl. <laughs> and my mother, Miss Greta Campbell, is a retired director of financial accounts financial accounting at the Lee County School Board. Greta, see? Yes. See, Greta, you never, I don't know if you've been on the show before, Greta, but now you're looking at this, you see? And I did, I meet your daughter, Greta, it's time. Hit me with a message. Come on, leave it live, Greta. You know I got a lot of respect for you. Yes, now, sir. Now, you Greta Campbell's daughter. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, you live and you learn. Is Greta AKA as well? Yes, she is. Okay, I didn't know that. Yes, she I, is. So, um, Look, it's just been so cool talking to you, and uh, I don't think you've ever been, I've, I've interviewed like over 20,000 people, yes, but sir. I don't think I ever got a chance to talk to you, so now I got you on, on, on tape as well. Yes, sir, and I am very pleased to be here, <laughs> sitting next to such a handsome young man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Say it again. Such a handsome young man. All right, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna end it on that. We'll be right back.